Hi, and welcome back to my tower defense survival game. It's been like two to three weeks, but we're finally here with some new interesting things. So I have been redoing the generation system from a generated mesh to a tile-based one using wave function collapse, as well as some bit masking. And let me tell you, it's been a huge pain, so many things have went wrong and broke, but we're finally here and now we have biomes. These biomes you see on screen right now are just concepts, they're not finished yet. We have the desert biome, featuring no water as well as dead trees and big rocks. Then we have the snow biome. Here you can find a new crystal resource as well as snowy trees and more. The mushroom slash the swamp biome. Here you can find large mushroom, some cool lakes with some foliage as well as the new mob, the frogs. These guys look great. Here's the idle, run, shoot animation. These frogs are aggressive mobs that shoot projectiles. They are the first mobs with a ranged attack, and for some reason, making arching projectiles in games that hit accurately is way harder than it should be, but I managed to do it, and I think it looks pretty cool. So this is a close-up on the projectile itself. I tried to make them look kinda like slime balls or poison balls, I'm not really sure. Tell me what you think about them in the comments. So, the new generation system uses wave function collapse, which is basically an algorithm to fit modular pieces together based on different rules. One of our most popular games using this technique currently is Townscape, made by Oscar Stahlberg. As you see, the pieces dynamically change based on their adjacency to other pieces, for example, and when you place a new piece, the piece updates as well. If you want to learn more about wave function collapse, you should check out this video by Martin Donald, link in the description. I'm using this algorithm to generate a smooth transitions from land to water. For the mountains, I'm using something called bit masking, which is basically auto tiling that most game engines use for the 2D tile maps. I'm really happy with the new world generation because I now have full control over everything. From where the mountains and water can be generated, as well as where the forests grow, where there are rock clusters, flower fields, and so on. I also have full control over where mob spawns. For example, I can make it so only frogs can spawn in the water and the swamp and only cows can spawn in flower fields and so on. I have also made it so no terrain can be generated around the area where you spawn. This ensures that the player will have a flat area that they can spawn in and won't spawn in mountains or in a lake for example. You can also see that I have added a portal. This is because the player has been sent to these new lands through the portal. The evil forces of this new land don't want you. They want to force you out and destroy the portal. So you need to defend it by building a settlement with all the resources you can find. And this is the basic and very simple story idea I have currently. This is still very much work in progress, but I hope you like this idea. With the portal, I have a way to add the NPCs. They will come through the portal when your settlement grows bigger and you will get more NPCs, merchants, smiths and other cool guys. This was all I had to talk about in this video and I hope you found it interesting and enjoyable. Also if you want to improve the combat and overall game feel of your own game you should watch this video right here. And with that, have a great day.